Okay. This is an example of a problem we did today, and this involves two tape diagrams because there are two ratios. So I kind of introduced it by saying, hey, every problem we've done in the past, there's been one ratio. And how many tape diagrams have we done? Well, we've done one. And now this problem has two ratios. So how many tape diagrams do you think we have to have? And unanimously, everyone says two. Wonderful. So the starting point is basically the same. It's just a little bit more challenging to figure out what to do after that, although it's still very similar to the first kind of, the very first, the basic tape diagrams to actually solve for the individual groups. So first, let's get reading in this problem. We've got the business direct hotel caters to people who travel for different types of business trips. On Saturday night, there is not a lot of business travel, so the ratio of the number of occupied rooms to the number of unoccupied rooms is two to five, and so I will keep reading. However, on Sunday night, the ratio of the number of occupied rooms to the number of unoccupied rooms is six to one due to the number of business people attending a large conference in the area. If the business direct hotel has 432 occupied rooms on Sunday night, how many unoccupied rooms does it have on Saturday night? So much stuff, but read it through once and then go through and look for the ratios is what I say. So I know doo -doo -doo -doo, on Saturday night, there's not a lot of business travel. So the ratio of oh, here we go, the ratio of the number of occupied rooms to the number of unoccupied rooms is two to five. Oh, hunting, however, on Sunday night, the ratio of the number of occupied rooms to the number of unoccupied rooms is to one. Okay, so I've got my two different ratios. I found both of them, and I need to make a tape diagram for both. So the first tape diagram is says occupied rooms to unoccupied rooms, occupied rooms to unoccupied rooms, and it says that ratio is two to five. So two. five. On Sunday night, the ratio of the number of occupied rooms to the number of unoccupied rooms is six to one. So occupied, unoccupied, and we have six. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, one. Great. So those are done. Now what we need to do is these look the same. What's the difference between the two? We need to label them. Okay, we need to figure out what's the difference between this one and this one. So if we go back and read, we find it says, on Saturday night, there's not a lot of business travel, so the ratio of, so this looks like this is Saturday night. Saturday night. Okay, and then however, on Sunday night, the ratio, and so this is Sunday night. Sunday night. So if the business and then, so we have our tape diagrams done, we have them titled. So I know that this is the unoccupied and the occupied on Saturday, occupied and unoccupied on Sunday. If the business direct hotel has 432 occupied rooms on Sunday night, how many unoccupied rooms does it have on Saturday night? So what is that little bit of information that they're giving us? You know, there's the three kinds. They're usually giving us um, one set of info. They're either going to tell us, you know, here are the unoccupied on Saturday night. Or they might say, here are the total rooms of Saturday night. Or they might say, give that extra piece of information. Here is, you know, there are so many extra unoccupied rooms on Saturday night than occupied rooms. In this case, it's saying the hotel has 432 occupied rooms on Sunday night. So we're looking for the occupied rooms, occupied rooms on Sunday night. Well, here's Sunday night, and here are my occupied rooms. These are all my occupied rooms. 
right? And that is six, and so we have 432 divided by six. I believe that is 72. Yeah. Okay, 72. Okay, so what does that tell us? Well, just like the very, very basic, if we kind of ignore that for a second, very basic tape diagram, this is telling us that if this all represents 432, and we divide it, then each one of these pieces is going to be 72. 72. 72. They're all 72. 72. Now, the important thing is, and this is where it got new, this was the same up until this point, aside from making just two of them. Um, but today, what we were trying to see is, well, hey, you know what? Over here, this is representing really all of the rooms that this hotel has. And this is also representing all of the rooms that this hotel has. You know, the total um, rooms that this hotel has, you know, we've got seven groups. I describe them as, you know, seven floors. And over here, we, well, the hotel's not getting any bigger. It still has seven floors, still has seven groups. They're the same size. Well, if this is the same size as this one, and they have the same number of groups, and these groups are 72, that means these ones, these also have to be 72. So all of these groups are 72 as well. All of them are 72. So then, we can go back to our problem and really solve what it's asking. It says, how many unoccupied rooms does it have on Saturday night? So we're looking for the unoccupied rooms, unoccupied rooms on Saturday night. Saturday night. So 72 times 5. 360, and we like to describe it, so 360 unoccupied rooms on Saturday. So essentially, just like the last three videos, we're still looking for those same type of, they're always going to give us one of those three types of information for the problems we have, either one piece or the extras or the total. Um, the really only the difference is instead of having only one tape diagram to uh, find that part and then compare the two things, we're really just comparing four. So I really encourage making sure you're labeling everything and definitely label the two you know, we have a Saturday night and Sunday night. Definitely label those two so they don't you don't confuse them from one another.